Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to hard boot your cable modem. Now, frequently, you'll have cable modem configurations where you'll have your modem, and it'll be connected to uh, your router uh, through a cable in the back, and they'll both be plugged into the power um, through their power adapters. Uh, but often, like with uh, some DSL modems, well, actually with cable modems too, you can get uh, a unit where the, uh, the modem and the router are in one unit. It makes the whole operation a lot easier in that case. But uh, typically, um, if you're going to be um, rebooting your, your uh, cable modem, you're going to want to be a, a, a good network administrator and give fair warning to your users that you're going to be doing something because you're going to be taking the whole network down and they may have a network connection going somewhere that they really want. They may be working on something online and might want to save their work. So you should give everybody, if there's anybody else in, in your, uh, on your network using it, you should give them fair warning that the network's going down so they can save their work. Um, even if uh, the network is, is uh, locked up and they can't get to the, to the internet for some reason, they may be able to save locally uh, their work. So anyway, you should, you should make sure, you know, just to be a good network administrator that you do that. Now, um, when you reboot your cable modem, uh, when you do a hard reboot, that really implies that you're really resetting everything. Um, a lot of times the cable modems will have an internal uh, you know, web server that you can log into and change configurations and tell it to reset and and that'll do a, a reset but it still leaves the memory up and if there's any contents in the memory that was uh, somehow bad or corrupted it won't get erased uh, a lot of times it might still be there so you want to do what's, you know a hard reboot and that really implies that you remove power and give it some time to clear out um, so if you look on a cable modem, you know, you notice there's a power connector and some uh, connectors where like the cable goes and your, your LAN uh, cable goes, but there's no on-off switch. They're not designed to be uh, turned on and off a switch. They're designed to be plugged in, connected, and, and up and running continuously. It's the same thing with your, um, with your router. It's, it doesn't have an on-off switch either. It, it's designed to be up and going all the time. Um, so uh, really, the way you, you do a hard reboot on these is you'll want to remove the power from the device um, and let it reset that way. So it really doesn't matter which order that you remove power from because if you take the power out of one of these guys, the whole network's going down anyway. So it just doesn't matter. You just unplug them both and then a lot of the manufacturers will say give them 30 seconds to uh, uh, to clear out you know for the memory anything to dissipate if they have some static RAM in there that's uh, that will dissipate its values in you know 30 seconds so that's typically what the manufacturer says let it have 30 seconds and then the order that you plug these in it's kind of important if you have an, an operating system that doesn't really know how to reconfigure things dynamically. So you should, just to be safe, is plug your, your cable modem back in to the power and, and let it come up. And you'll see along the front there's lots of lights and, and whatnot. And they'll typically be red or yellow when it's in a non-ready state. And they'll be green or blue when it's, it's ready uh, to go. And so what you want to do is just wait for all your lights to come back um, blinking. And, and you might have one like the cable light right here. This cable light means that you have a cable connection. Um, if that one doesn't come back, then you've got a problem with your cable. It could be the cable company uh, went down, or their uh, network system went down, and rebooting your cable modem is not going to help you at all. But you know, t just wait until they come back up. The cable modem light should be, or the cable connection light should be green or blue when it's back up, and, and the, the modem is reconnected back with the cable company. And then you'll see the the link activity lights and uh, you know, your send and receive lights, those will be going toggling back and forth when your modem is sending and receiving data with the cable company. And you know, the link activity light, that's for when the router, something coming through the router or through your cable connection back here has some sort of activity or some communication going to the cable modem. Once your cable modem is up and going, then you're gonna want to put the power back into your uh, router. And just plug it back in and it'll go through the same thing. You've got uh, lights along the front here and just keep you know, watch on them. 
and you'll you'll typically see uh, like the power light will be blinking it'll be yellow or red and then it'll come up if it is red it'll come up yellow and then it'll come up green um, and then uh, if you have anything plugged in to the back here on the LAN ports um, you'll see there typically a router will have numbers to show which ports plugged in and then you'll start seeing activity uh, on those ports as the devices that are plugged in come back up and reconnect with the network um, but as I said earlier, if your computers can't reconnect with the network for some reason, you'll have to reboot them. But typically, all the modern operating systems, uh, they, they know how to reconnect with the network once it goes down and comes back up. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today, I showed you how to reboot or how to hard reboot your cable modem. Thanks for watching.